Show Art Studio is unique in that it's more than just a place to come and paint. It's a community. Uh, my mother was Mary Louise Schroet. And um, I think a good way to describe my mother was she was uh, larger than life, really. Um, she's best known locally for her collection of St. Matthew series paintings. Um, there's 32 paintings of St. Matthew storefronts captured in the mid-1980s. Um, and then um, nationally, she has a, uh, a series of Trump Loy paintings um, that have been shown in Aspen, New York, Cincinnati. Um, that you know that are pretty well known. Her favorite was always the studio and teaching students that she loved to teach. She opened the studio and started out with uh, maybe two classes with four people in each class, and it's grown to what it is today. Um, she uh, she loved the studio; it was everything to her. Um, and I, I like to say that I, her spirit's still alive here. Uh, we talk about her a lot and we joke about her a lot. So it's gonna get lighter as it goes away from We call ourselves a full service studio and that's because uh, when the students come in, we already have their palettes set out for them. Um, their paints and their supplies um, and their canvases are housed here in the studio. So all they really need to do is sit down and start painting. Oil painting is probably the easiest in my opinion. Um, watercolor, if you make a mistake on watercolor, you rip it up. But oil painting, we have a saying around here that you can't ruin an oil painting. Nobody's done it yet. Um, so if you make a mistake, you just cover it up. So it's, um, it's a very forgiving medium. I was always kind of a creative person to start, and so when my youngest entered kindergarten, I had a little more time, and so I decided I wanted to try something new, and so I um, signed up for Schrott and oil painting and it was, has been a great experience. I'm in my ninth year here and went from never picking up a brush to taking on paintings that I would have never dreamed I could have accomplished. The complimentary color is purple. They make it so easy here because they have kind of a beginner's kit um, with brushes and the paints that you need to start and all the basics. And everybody starts at the same, no matter what their experience, they all start with the same method and it has proved to be uh, vital to all my paintings, no matter how long I've been painting, because we always go back to the same basics, um, matching the colors, isolating the colors to get them just right, um, learning to train your eye, maybe to see that grass isn't always green or snow isn't always white. And so all those methods that they teach make it so simple. And even if you haven't picked up a brush, you can definitely be painting and have a canvas done in several weeks. Most of the students that come here to me have never picked up a brush. Um, they're beginning students and this is a really good place for people to begin because um, again we teach the basics. You know we're not going to just throw somebody up at the canvas and say there's your you know there's your canvas go express yourself. Um, we're going to talk about color mixing. We're going to talk about paint application and um, it's a very step-by-step -step process. So especially um, when someone is uh, first starting out, they get quite a bit of one-on-one -on -one attention here. I want to get that wet. Some of the students here have been here 15, 20, you know, 30 years, and um, I always explain to them, everybody starts the same way. So yeah, everybody, you know, is going to start with the first canvas and work their way up. I was always involved with art. Um, you know, when you grow up, I think, uh, people are always labeled the class artist, and I was the class artist. Um, but I think the problem with that is that around fourth, fifth grade, one person is determined to be the class artist and everybody else is not. And I think a lot of people think when they get older that they can't paint or they can't draw, and it's simply untrue. You could have someone at the easel next to you that's never painted, and then someone on the other side that's painted 30 years. And so you not only gain from the methods they teach here, but you learn from the experience of the other painters around you. And you can share your experiences with the new painters. And you become, over the years, you do become kind of a community. Not only are you getting your creative outlet, but it's a very social outlet too. And um, you kind of become a family here. I think the longevity of the studio is incredible. I mean, the fact that we've been here for 40 years, um, be layers and layers of atmosphere. And um, I think what really stands apart about Schrott um, Art Studio is that we have a very practical teaching method. 
again, we're not going to just throw somebody up at the easel. We're going to teach them about color mixing. We're going to teach them about, you know, how to apply the paint properly. And um, it's, I think that's why we're so successful is that we have this step-by-step -step process. It's easy to follow and it's easy for people to be successful when they come in. It's incredible to see somebody who's never picked up a brush before come in and, um, and, and paint something that's really, really a great painting and just the, uh, the pride and the, you know, the realization that yes, I can do this, you know, it's, it's incredible. It's very re rewarding.